a high drum facial that you can do it at home. To clean our face too. Hi everyone, he is Romeo and I am Romeo Mama. Welcome back to this channel. I like to use this to clean my face every morning. So this is the one that is for acne prone skin. I used to have a lot of pimple on my forehead, on my chin, on my nose. After using this, it has significantly improved. A little shake and it comes out in a foam texture and then, then I wash my whole face with this. This is another cleanser that I like to use. I usually use this when I have a pimple right on my face, then I use this instead. This one because I find that I cannot use it every day, it's too dry for me. Oh, I have very oily forehead, oily tea song here, and then very dry on the cheek. So this one is like a cream, but they got a little texture. So next cleaning, this is the cleaning oil that I use every night when I wear makeup. So this is to clean all my makeup, use it on dry face, dry hand. I have been using it for the past 10 years. This is the best makeup remover cleansing oil. Every night, dry clean, the dry hand, dry face, rub it on your face. And then after you rub all the makeup off, you put a little bit of water and then emulsify it into a milky color foam. And then you can rinse it off with warm water. So the texture is like this. It's just oil. After cleaning, I use this rose water. This one smells really good and it's quite natural. You can see all the rose petal inside. I find it very moisturized, even as a toner. Okay, and then if I have a big pimple on my face, this proactive is the toner that I will use. And just put it right on top of the pimple. It helps to heal faster. I don't do it all over my face because I find it too dry. So if you want to use it, I think recommend it only on the T-zone or whatever, wherever your pimple is there. After the toner, then I am going to use my serum. This is my two favorite serum. Marine Hyaluronic Acid is actually more liquid, it's more thinner. So I find that it's quite easy to absorb, okay? The other one is the Hyaluric Acid 2% plus B5. This one is a lot thicker. So the consistency, you will find that if you put it on your face, it takes longer time to absorb. I find that I prefer the thinner one, the marine one. I prefer to use it in summertime. The thicker version, I prefer to use it in winter. And I also find out a way how to make this thicker serum a little bit more easy to apply. Water was some of the liquid out to another bottle and then you add some rose water. It can actually have another benefit for moisturizing the skin. After using the Hyaluric Exit, I will use this Nacinamide 10%. This is the one I use it when I have pimples. So this is a little bit thicker, but I only use it around the pimple. So not the whole face, just wherever the pimple is. After everything has absorbed into my face, next, 
This is my favorite, favorite product from The Ordinary. So this is the Buffet Copper Peptide 1%. I'll show you a close up later. So this is actually is good for wrinkles. I think they pump collagen too. So this is like a little blue. That's the consistency. It's quite sticky. So I find it very, very effective. So you put it around your eyes, forehead, or the fine lines, even on my neck. It's actually, you can feel the benefit, you can feel the changes in your skin after a few days of use. After that, I will use it for my eyes. I have tried this before. I don't see a big difference because it's mainly for puffiness. And my concern is fine lines rather than puffiness. So I use it occasionally, but every day I use the Olay one. This one, I find it very creamy because my eyes are quite dry around my skin. So this one, you can actually feel it's very, very moisturized. I like this on my eyes, AM and PM. So close up. That's the one I like. Face cream. I use the Olay one. Sensitive skin. I have been using this for many years. It is the best for me. I try the red tub. I try the normal one. It won't work because when I put makeup on, they started to get a little bit of the like a rubber things. It feels like your skin coming off. It's not your skin, but it's just your moisturizer mixed with the foundation, and then you can feel a little bit of the paper coming up sort of things okay but the sensitive skin ones it suits me really well at night i will use this maybe two to three times a week this is retinol 0.5 percent so this one is like an oil texture but it's not actually oil so you put it all over on your face you can use it before the moisturizer or after your moisturizer. So this one, you only need to use a tiny, tiny amount. Don't use too much, especially because this is the 0.5. If you never use retinol before, maybe use a lower percentage like 0.1 or 0.2. Beauty gadget. This is the one that I've started using it since the lockdown because I have done hydrafacial and since lockdown we're not allowed to do any we're not allowed to go to any beauty salon so I got this machine online so it's from W Skin so it's not sponsored I bought it by myself I wish they pay for me but it's not so I bought this myself you need to charge it it comes with a little charging cable so when you charge it you put the whole machine inside to charge when you're charging is actually red and then when you finish charging then it will be green so you open it like this and then you take out the machines it's quite difficult to take out i find that because this is the charging dot and here is the two plastic so make sure you match this onto that hole three different sizes so they actually in the instruction they say that's for your face that's for your forehead that's for your nose and then there's extra filter i have been using this machine for almost a year now so i find it it is actually quite quite useful so after charging you will see how the concept work so the one with the tube is for you to put in the liquid. So the liquid you have to order from, you can use other liquid. And this is when they suck out all your dirt. And then this is all the dirty things that comes out down in here. So you just have to take this one off and then you can rinse it off. It's very fascinating to see what sort of things that they suck out from your face from here so i always use a little torch and then to see all the black heads all the white heads and everything that actually were floating around in here okay 
I do not use the max because I find that my face is not particularly dirty. So I use it 5 ml or 10 ml. If I need more, then I pull more because I don't like to put it on a whole tube. And then at the end, I have to put it back in here. Okay, so this is the machine like this. And this is the on off button. And then you will usually, I like to use the smallest one. The smallest one, I think, because it got the most powerful suction. So you put the solution, turn it on, and then they will have different lighting. I don't have liquid. I don't think they will let me turn it on. Green light is on, and when you press it, blue is gentle, and then red is the higher suction. And then white is just for cleaning. And then hold the button, turn it off. So one thing is you need to make sure that you hold this machine vertically, and then make sure you do this. Okay, because if you lie down, when the tube cannot suck any water, they will have a beeping system to let you know nothing is sucking in. So you have to do it vertically. And you hold your skin and then just like that. It's the glycolic acid and the salicylic acid. It's like a peel, they hydrate the skin and then they will deeply go into the pores. So the whole BHA solution will get in the pores and loosen all the junk from the pores so that it can allow them to be sucked and removed so the skin will feel so soft and refreshed. And my pores won't feel congested at all. That's the dirt and all the oil, all the dirty things is now floating. So this is the solution that I purchased from the same company. And that's the ingredient inside. I'm going to show you a close up of what's inside this solution. If you want to look at it. Next is this rolling pin. At first, I'm quite skeptical about this because it's full of tiny little pin. Is actually you can feel it's not painful but you can feel a lot of needles sort of indented on the surface of your skin so I normally have to stir out this with hot water or alcohol wipe and then make sure they are perfectly clean before you use on your clean face I do it once every two weeks so you roll it on your face give a little pressure really on your face like that and then when you rub it when you not rub when you roll it you have to make sure you roll it in a different angle like maybe first row is horizontal and then second row is vertical and then the third row will be in a diagonal like that so somehow because when the hole punch into your skin your skin will actually generate some collagen try to act it like recovering your skin okay i can feel the pump at first time it was all red actually every time it was all red and then you feel the heat and all the blood running on your face so you just have to cool it down you know that it will go away then that feeling is actually not that nervous anymore but the first time I was really nervous, okay? But the second and third, I know it will calm down. After rolling it, you still put all the product, all the skincare that you put it on, and then it will, within half an hour, you will feel your skin is actually plump, and then the redness will be gone. And then next morning, you wake up, you can actually feel mm, 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 bouncing. make sure you clean this after you use before you use after you use before you use because they do have needles so make sure that they are clean
Next, this is the one that I use it for close to 10 years now. It's still my favorite. Even though it's somehow not very popular anymore, but they works really well. I find that when I feel my skin getting a little bit zaggy, drooping down, it actually helps to pull your face up like a mini facelift. Okay, so this the is one. the one that there's no switch on or switch. So as soon as you plugged it in, they already start working. So you will feel not pain at all, just feel a little bit like that. And then you can actually leave it up like this, like this. Normally, I only do it on my clean face. With oil, after you put on some oil, it's actually help it run smoother, not pulling your skin that much. Because if you do it on cream, you, it's quite hard to move. So with oil, it slides even better. And you can even do it on your lips, on your neck, and then you will feel it's more pump and pull up. So this is the close up, that's the cap and then that's the tip and then you have the dial on here so you have 1 to 9, 9 is the strongest so usually around my eyes I can use 4 to 5, on my neck I can tolerate higher I can use 7 so you can just dial that. Next gadget is this new face fix so this is the one with a magnetic cap so you won't lose the cap and then here is the button after you put in they gave you a little gel but i don't really use that gel i don't find that gel useful i like to use my own serum and then i rather spray my rose water and then all the hyaluric acid and then i do that so this one is quite good for the eyes area because I have that little bigger metal balls before those one I find it hard to roll it around the eyes I gave that one to my mom and I hope she's using it okay but this one is smaller it actually can go around the eyes a lot more easier so make sure that you know the balls won't move okay they stay there it's not a rolling thing so you just have to roll it they give you an instruction you can roll it sideways or you can roll it up or down or i always roll it up never go down so make sure and then all in a circle so it actually will help the elasticity so as well. charge them on here something wrong with mine i can't charge it at the moment right after lockdown then i'll go back and see what they can do for me halfway through this video just a reminder if you find anything helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel i upload every week about fashion handbags skin. Yeah. we're going back to talk about mask okay face mask that i like normally i use face mask for two reasons one is to deep clean to get rid of the pimples second is to moisturize so that's the two main things that i use for mask for cleaning my acne so i like to use this one get glam glow and i'll show you what's inside so it's like this this one dried quite fast so when you do it like this so on clean face all of this mask you don't have to wait until it's really cracking or anything when it is already dry you can wash it off with warm water so this is another one that i use to clear my acne so i liked this one like this all of these I only put it on my T-zone because they help to absorb extra oil so if you put it on your cheek if you have a dry skin like me then it will dry up too much so I only do it on my T-zone and on my chin 
I like to use different masks. I don't use one all the I time. I like to rotate my mask so that I can get all the benefit from different ingredients. This one that I use is this one. And then they all smell like you have been to a spa. So another one that I use is this brand. They are the pink mud. Same concept. They're all clearing the skin. All of them, they, they can actually dry it out. So make sure you use it fast, okay? So I keep on rotating. Maybe one week I use this. Next week I'll use the other top. This is the category of peeling. Peeling your skin so the new skin can come out beautifully, okay? So this is the one I use for peeling. So this is the one from the Ordinary AHA 30%, BHA 2%. This one, make sure you use it very, very, very carefully. This one is very strong. So every time when I use this mask, only maybe once a month, once every two months. I use this like on a clean face. They look like blood, like that. They're very like this. So you just put a thin layer on your face and then I'll set an alarm, seven minutes. They actually say it about 10 minutes. Yes, but I like to only use it for seven minutes because I find that after 10 minutes, it's just a bit too strong. Another peeling wipe that I use is this brand. I really like it. This is the Alpha Beta Wipe and the other one is the Retinol. So they all come in like this little individual pack. I do not buy the tub because I find that if I don't use it often, the little cotton pads in a tub that will dry it out. So I always buy the individual pack version. So this is the one you use number one and then wipe around your face, everything. I even actually peel my feet as well so the dead skin on my ankle on my underarms on elbow i actually clean everywhere okay so this is the one you use number one is helped you to exfoliate and smooth and then after two minutes when everything is dry then you use the number two and then after that i use all the moisturizer okay same as this one, this one is retinol peel and then it comes in one round pack and then same thing, I rub on my clean face and after all the peeling job that I have done to my face, I always use SPF 50 plus sunscreen. I use sunscreen every day even though I don't go outdoor on that day. When I go to work, office, light, everything, I still use SPF day on a daily basis just to protect. And I only do peeling at night. So then I go to bed, but next morning, I will use a lot of sunscreen. Sometimes I will use this Cora Organics with turmeric brightening mask when I feel my skin is actually dull, not shiny anymore, not bright, then I will use this. This one, I find it quite good, but don't use it all the time because the texture, they have all the little grindy substance. This is like a scrub. So I don't use it all the time. I only use it when I feel my skin is a bit dull. And then gentle hand, and then you can leave it on because they have turmeric, it will help brighten up your skin. So after all this drying, sucker oil, clean pores and peeling, I will use a hydration mask, okay? So hydration mask, I use something like this, the Dermalogica one. So I use it very often, so stay on your face for quite a long time. So even though if you Put this on, you can go on and have dinner and everything, finish dinner, and then you can still wash it off later. So even though it says 10 or 15 minutes, but I normally leave it a lot longer. So this is very moisturized, so just put it in and then 
you just walk around the house. The hydration mask I use is this one. Do a close up. This is the one they exfoliate. They got a little texture with a, like a little bubble. You have to break them. Like see that there? It's like a cycle, like a bubble tea pearl. And then you will wipe it. And then after that, leave it on your skin. And this is a hydration mask. For hydration, I also use all these sheets mask, but this one is more time consuming because all these face mask, once you put it on, you prefer not to walking around the house. I prefer to lie down and then let all the ingredients absorb to absorb on my face. Because I heard that if you're wearing this mask and you're walking around the house, gravity actually pulling the mask down and then it will make your pores longer. That's why every time when I'm using all this shit's mask, I lie down. And then, now this is the one from Petrology. I think this is a, that's a free gift from Mecca. I quite like it, but the one that I always use is from Young Living. It is very moisturized. They have essential oils, or the good ingredients inside. And then after I put all the sheet masks on my face, all the leftover ingredients in the package, I also wipe it everywhere. That's all the skincare and all the gadgets that I use. Remember, it's like a lot, but I do not use all of them in one day so this is just all i use it regularly okay and so romeo will show you his clean face okay. so that's all the skincare product all the gadget all the mask that used and helpful on my face okay if anything doesn't work on you or if you are not sure don't forget everyone's have different skin texture different sensitivity and then different issues, okay? So it works for me, but might not work for you, okay? So if you have any concern, make sure you check with your dermatologist, okay? So that's all for today. So Romeo, say bye.